Curbside recycling has come to a halt in the city of Tulsa. Today, in fact, we learned that it could be several months before it comes back. American Waste Control says the sorting machine at Tulsa's recycle and transfer facility will have to be replaced after that fire last month. Two News reporter Sierra Pizarro is live with a closer look at this. Sierra. It's out with the old and in with the new here. I'm standing inside a material recovery facility or for short, Mr. Murph, this is what they call the machine here behind me. Mr. Murph took the most damage from that April 1st fire. They don't expect to get a new machine until just before Christmas, which is really just in time for busy season. This is what the Tulsa Recycle and Transfer Facility looked like the night of April 1st. Flames inside and firefighters outside. The culprit, someone who placed a lithium ion battery in a recycling bin and it caught fire. They need to watch out because it's important. Sweet Paula Recess lives near the plant. This is how it looks inside now. Paper would literally be sorted right here and, and come falling from these from these chutes. In this bulk handling system is where the fire started. The equipment sorts milk jugs, cans, detergent containers, not anymore. The American Waste Control team decided to get a new one. Because it would happen quicker and more cost effectively to happen that way. The timeline to replace a system this size is 18 to 22 months. We've been able to work with our vendors and negotiate a much quicker timeline of seven months. Until then, Tulsa recyclables will go to the trash to energy plant while recyclables from surrounding communities are sorted by hand. Hand sorting is not as effective in recovery as Mr. Murph. So we're recovering about 15%, approximately 15 to 20% of what we can. The rest that cannot be recovered is going to a uh, renewable energy site in Sand Springs. Paul Ross urges residents to continue using recycle bins as usual and always with a careful eye on what's going in. Thank you for being patient with us. This was a learning experience for everyone. They know where to recycle batteries now. We hope the message gets across. The heat in here was intense that night. You're looking at some of the burnt debris there on the ground. I'm told the temperature rose to 2,500 degrees, which forced them to replace the lights, the roof, the beams. The damage cost is well over $7 million. I'm Sierra Pizarro for 2 News. Sierra, thank you. 2,500 degrees. That's amazing. All right, appreciate that, Sierra. Going more in depth now, if you aren't happy about your recycling, going to the Covanta Waste for Energy plant, you can still take your recyclables to one of the Met Recycling Centers. The executive director there says they've seen a big increase in people bringing in their recyclables, and they're happy to take them, but he's asking that you go ahead and sort your recyclables first. Actually, our workers are developmentally disabled adults, and so this is, um, this is their, their main job, and, and they can pull it out and put it in the correct bins and all, but the, the, it, it would be easier for them if it could be sorted a little bit when brought. Now, they do have 10 locations all across Spring Country with three right here in Tulsa, one in downtown, one in East Tulsa, and then one in Central Tulsa. This is near 35th and Sheridan. You can find a full list of their locations. Just go to our website, kgrh.com, and then click on this story.